Salutations everyone, my name is Fucat, and welcome to Boofy's Bunker. This is a survival horror game developed by the man from FuJ Race, Micro Horror Arcade. He previously went by JSKIBY! I played an extremely early version of this, but I sucked at the game. I absolutely know nothing about the story, so we'll definitely have to check out about that. Actually, we're gonna have to check on the credits first since I always do that. Even though we know who developed the game, but... There could be a group involved with this, too. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of this is gonna be micro-arcade... Micro-whore arcade. I wouldn't say that's so bad. Micro-arcade whore. Oh, the editing is by Mikhail. That's his wife. Snow Mizzle, Darius, Samer... I don't know who Darius is, but I'm familiar with most of these names. I like seeing my name pop up so many times, it makes me feel special. <laughs> special thanks. Okay. I like his logo. Um, you're welcome, but I haven't started playing yet. Um, can we move on now? Or do I have to wait for this? I guess we have to wait. There we go. Uh, let's start this. Well, hi there. I'm How to Play Rock Radio. If you go through one of these doors, you'll be locked in Boofy's bunker with Boofy himself. The main exit is blocked off with some locked doors. Each door has a matching magic key hidden somewhere inside the bunker. And these keys are huge. Just carrying one of them would exhaust anybody. What makes them magic, you ask? Well, they teleport to a random location inside the bunker if they're put down. Make sure you crouch down and catch your breath every once in a while or you'll exhaust yourself. If you get exhausted, just make sure you rest for a while and you'll be running again in no time. Your lamp has very limited energy supply, so use it wisely. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. Oh, and watch out for Boofy. Why am I telling you all this? I'm not. It's all in your head. You're crazy. Now go get some keys, crazy pants. <laughs> Uh, I just, I can't unhear Jay from this. But yeah, anywho, that does not sound convoluted at all. Why did I have trouble trying this in the early release? Like, okay, um, I think I'm good on that. Controls, all right, easy enough. I guess we'll go ahead and start on normal. Yeah, I couldn't figure out what to do in the game back then. But then again, I was like, Recalcitrating. You know, just like F and AF, and that's a big problem. Is that an Easter egg? It is. We got Micro Horror Arcade Easter egg. There's a key. Uh, I had to look for specific colored keys. I'll just go ahead and take this with me. What's going on? I mean, I had to pick, like, a specific colored key. Is this... No, it doesn't go to that. I just right-clicked. What did that do? I didn't read carefully. <laughs> did that bring it... Oh, okay. It brought it back. Okay. Good. I was a little worried. Thought it was, like, gone for good. Anywho. Let's see if there's any more Easter eggs. I gotta stop running, huh? No. It feels like I'm running either way. I approve of this sprinting. Okay, anywho, no trouble so far. So that's the light. I think I'm fine without it, actually. Wait, no, we don't need this. We need a green key. Let's see here. Anything here? No? Okay, uh... Oh! <laughs> hey, it's my Easter egg, cool! It's my logo. Wow, oh, this looks awesome. I think he showed me this before, but I just almost don't remember this. It looks awesome in-game, though. Great, I found an Easter egg of mine. Huh. So convenient to have that straight off, so now I know how to title this video. As I was gonna call this, like, Jayski Gone Horror, but now I can call this my own Easter egg. Alright, anywho. Oh, I'm... I guess I have to catch my breath. Okay, there we go. I could sprint again. 
Alright, I guess we'll go straight down then. Is what's his face down here? Boofy? Boofer. Huh. Don't need that. We need a green key. Which I'm having a hard time finding. Huh, what's this? This leads me to some skulls. That's not an Easter egg. Alright. I mean, I'm gonna have to use the light down here, right? Spooky. I don't want to be near that. Is that him rattling? Dang. I'm left to a quandary right now. Huh, there's a key... I have not found the green key yet. <laughs> this is awful. I'm doing an awful job in normal mode. Wait, is there a key back here? No. Just a dead end. I'm guessing what's standing on the bottom middle is what shows my light. I should probably walk back, huh? Where am I supposed to go, though? Do I just hide? Blue key. But there's no green, though. This is upsetting. Oh my gosh. Is there a way to get out of this? Maybe here? Yeah, here we go. I found Jack's squad down there for the green key. Yeah, we gotta keep that light off. I wish there was a place where you can get, like, extra batteries. Or maybe there is. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. We definitely do not need to be here. I'm terrible at this. Like, seriously. Even though I know what to do now, compared to me playing the extremely early alpha. Yeah, at this point, I might as well just die. Oofy. Boo! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I couldn't find it anywhere. That was really upsetting. You know what, let's go back to the main menu. I want to see where the trophies are at. Oh, here we go. Well, that's a great start. Seeing this to start it all off. Uh, now we gotta find... Air. Okay. I am not playing extreme or hard. All of memory. Huh. So this is the Hall of Memory. Has absolutely nothing. Except for this one door. Boofy and I go way back. When I was born, my grandmother gave me a stuffed Boofy as a gift. My mother and father tried to take it from me, but it upset me so much that they just ended up letting me keep it. They didn't think very highly of my grandmother. When I'd ask why, they'd always change the subject or give vague answers to the question. As I was growing up, my parents would fight a lot. It got worse and worse every passing day, and it upset me very much. I'd always go to Boofy for comfort in these times. I'd lie in bed and pray that things would be different when I awoke the next morning. One day, my prayers were answered. That's where our story begins. Huh. I wonder why they didn't play that at the intro. Yeah, we needed that story. I didn't hear that part. Yeah, anywho, let's go ahead and get back to it. I won't play easy mode. That's like... Weenie Hut Jr. mode. Wait, I should have gone to that door. I haven't seen that before. Oh well, we're already in game. So yeah, we're still back with the green. Hopefully it spawns to an easier place. Well, there's the blue key. I can hear Boofy. Alright. Hopefully we'll have an easier time finding it this time. Yeah, that's where my Easter egg was last time, so I don't have to look through that again. Red key's back where it was before. Hmm. I mean, he's up here right now, right? Okay, he's coming over here. I got hit out. Okay, I'm back here. We're already familiar with that Easter egg. Is that the green or is that yellow? My eyesight's terrible when it comes to descrying something from far distance. Here we go. Bam. Alright, what's the next key? 
Another issue here, I don't know how many keys we're collecting. We're looking for red? Alright. Easy enough. Probably need to crouch, right? Regain my stamina. No, nope, I'm still moving extremely slow. I mean, he's nowhere close, right? Alright, it's back. Where is he? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hide here. <gasps> What's he doing? <gasps> oh man! I couldn't tell where he was! Alright. That's fine with me. Here we go. Oh, we can't sprint with this anyway, so... We'll just walk on by. I don't think he went back here. At least we hope he didn't. Couldn't follow his trace of steps. But yeah, it's just right around the corner. No issue here. Just gotta walk up here. What's with the banging, though? Wait, what? Is this not the... Hmm... Is that a blue? Unfortunately, that's all really close by. But still, I'm confused what key we need for that. Oh, it was a blue. So it goes by that and not the door. Alright, that was embarrassing. This one... I guess, is it a yellow? So I got wrecked by Boofy again, but we were two keys in, right? So we're right now using the third key. And fortunately, the doors do have like randomly generated colors. Turns out the one from the last session was actually a red key. So it doesn't always go by the hole. This one, uh, red? Didn't I just do red? I don't... Yeah, I just did red. Let's go ahead and try. He's close by. Which way is he gonna go? I'll go ahead and hide back here. Maybe the sound indicates something. You know, to like, grab the key. I'm starting to realize that. I haven't noticed the sound until now. This kind of reminded me of... Bunny Man Lost Souls. So, we'll see if this is actually correct. Okay, so it does go by the sound of the key. So you don't always have to follow it that way. So now we got a pink. Pink, I believe, is going to be close to the basement. There it is. Most of the time it spawns at the same places. Oh boy. Where's he going? Alright, if he's out here, then I'm ditching the key. We just have to walk straight from here. And you would hope that you wouldn't hear any sounds. Okay. So far, so good. Very steady. Hate that you can't run with this. I wonder if you could run with it on easy. Then again, that'd be too easy. So we're four keys in, correct? Blue? Easy enough. I know where that is. Is it getting dimmer? It's like the game's getting darker. I don't know if that's the light or what. Yeah, he's definitely worked on the lighting real well. It's harder to see in this game now. Five keys in. Oh, I'm getting shaky. Oh. Oh, we beat it. Boopy's hedge maze is now available via the main menu. A trophy has been locked in the main menu. Cool. Let's my hear it. It didn't feel right. It felt like my physical self was non-existent. It was as if my body had transcended a second time, beyond this surreal dreamlike state. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. 
Uh, what? What? Let's go ahead and see the trophy first, and then I'll end it. I mean, we've succeeded. I really wanted to just beat at least a level. So we got to do that. But, yeah, let's go ahead and look for the trophies now. We got that. Like that. Dinosaur. Two cookies. <laughs> Do that again. I can have Madonna's with two cookies. I didn't realize you can just click on them. Damn, my cranium. I can have Madonna's with two <laughs> cookies. Ah, uh, this game made my day. Ah, uh, this is a great Halloween. It's like Halloween right now, so I hope y'all enjoyed this playthrough of Boofy's Bunker. Definitely gonna be playing a lot more, and it's probably gonna be a really long series. I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Very fun series that I'm gonna be starting, so. Yeah, I guess I'm going to be delaying Clock Tower for his fear and whatever just to play more of this. And hopefully the hedge isn't going to be too bad either. I mean, the first level wasn't that bad. But uh, then again, it's a hedge maze. It's going to be pretty difficult. So I'll see you all in the next playthrough. Stay awesome, Kitty Savers.